We're going to go to the latest trades today, Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020, and the portfolio calculator results through yesterday. Today, Cobra 3, e mini S&P is long, 2782.75, up 225. Cobra 3, e mini NASDAQ long, up 740. See the trade yesterday was short. Um, the, the tone is much different today. You've got this uh, gap up and this nice, smooth uptrend with very little volatility, very little adverse excursion. We talked about this yesterday. When the uh, when the market is down, there's lots of choppiness, volatility. Uh, bulls trying to turn that trend around, and then when they get it going their way, they, they keep the trend smooth. And so that's just kind of how it works in this type of market environment with the Fed backstopping the market. And you see the market continues to rise here. It's about 1.45 Eastern Standard Time, so two and a half hours till the futures close. Adaptive moving average took a long trade uh, today, up 7.50. So nice gains there. Not convinced on this. Not convinced on this rally, really. Um, but you, we're short-term traders, so we just go with go with what is for the day, even if it's a fluff trade, even if it's a um, you know manipulated move. We we join the manipulators in that move. ES Night Trader captured the long trade overnight. Um, and so, also gap continuation 2020. It has some. It has a tight stop, so it's got. It's stopped out twice along here. Uh, we have a filter in this to make sure that the volatility is lower, but uh, lots of pullbacks uh, on those two entries. And so it is done for the day uh, based on the entry times. And so those are the trades on the day. One, uh, actually, stock index swing had a loss yesterday on the short side, um, even though the market was down. It lots of bouncing. Lots of bounces to come back. You know, it's different on the long side. It just kind of uh, floats up when the uh, bulls have control of it. So short trade, loss yesterday, long trade win today. So all strategy access won. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five winners and one loser on the day. All strategy access two, no trades, unusual. Uh, kind of the tone of the market, you know. Um, Let's look at the daily range here. Uh, the daily range is the high is 27.91, the low is 27.66, 25, 25 points, which is a big day historically. That would be a big day, but in this kind of market, um, you know, you, we're just so full of these gaps. The gaps are bigger than the daily ranges, and so you get gap up, gap down, gap down, gap up, and so you see you see price action where uh, gap the daily range is smaller than the overnight gap. And so no trades in all strategy access two, all strategy access three. We have Cobra Euro minus 625, Asia Gold 4 minus 525, SR Counter Trend 2. We can't, at trade, if you're at Trade Station, you can't trade the June contract anyway. And so you miss these trades minus 825 and minus 825 and SR Counter Trend Crude Oil 3 and 4. Um, soybeans Day Trade 3 plus 6250. Just such narrow ranges in soybeans. Um, all strategy access four. These two did capture winners. SR Counter Trend three, A version short at in plus 475 on the trade, uh, plus 475 on the B version. And Cobra Gold plus 575. So nice, nice winners today in this workspace. Uh, all strategy access five. Uh, SR Counter Trend 2 V2M 1M, 5M and 15M, the 1M and the 5M plus 575, the 15M minus 725. So those are the trades on the day. Let's look at the portfolio calculator. This is through uh, yesterday. This has been updated through the 21st. So stock index portfolio is in a $10,000 drawdown. That is normal. It goes through $20,000 drawdowns. You're, you're trading 19 strategies and 23 contracts. And so that big trade yesterday in Cobra 3, you, got two, you get two units on that because it trades two contracts on that. So let's go down and take a look at how this looks. Eight, up 8000 on the month. and it's But even though it's in a $10,000 drawdown, that means it was up 18000 on the month. And it peaked and it's pulled back, but it's still up on the month. But it's off its peaks. And so that's what the drawdown means. And this is the drawdown curve. And we talk about how to get in on the drawdowns. And so if you want to get in on drawdowns, typically uh, looking at this curve right here is one way to do it. You can minimize your initial risk to worst case drawdown. You can buffer that a little bit if you get in at these drawdown levels. You see how it comes to these drawdown levels and then bounces back. 
this is a run up right here when it's when it's really thick in here and so when it pulls back and you get it in here and then it runs up that's a that's a move up and then it pulls back here uh, these are moves off the equity peaks and so getting in on these when they pull back is one way to buffer it and if it does make a worst case drawdown then you have you have some room room to work so ideal time to get in is is on these drawdowns and so that's what I encourage clients to wait for and traders to wait for is to wait for these drawdowns in the equity curve because run-ups and drawdowns are are part of the normal process of trading and so let's look at stock index portfolio 36 strategies you see it is an $18,000 drawdown about half of the worst case drawdown similar to the 19 system version and same thing this this is wrong right here this is updated through the 21st so let's change that updated this yesterday it's on the website and you can get it under the portfolio calculus up 6400 on the month and it's in a what do we say $18,000 drawdown said it was up 24,000 and you see it's had a pretty sharp drawdown you know Easter um, created some additional chop holidays sometimes do the chop seems very extended this year um, lots of like I said lots of overnight gaps and the daily ranges are narrower than the overnight gaps and so you get alternating overnight gaps with ranges that are narrower than the gap it's a little bit tricky to trade and um, so we have this drawdown here and as you can see this is normal happens all the time good place to add to co add contracts or to start trading and let's take a look now at the 200k portfolio 200k portfolio is in a $13,000 drawdown out of 21,000 and you're trading 44 contracts you're trading the 19 system stock index portfolio plus some several com several commodity markets as you can see here and it is up 7700 on the month so it was up 20,000 on the month and it's pulled back from that equity peak and so nice results nice equity curve once again we see this drawdown curve it happened here it's happened here and it could go lower uh, we're at higher volatility levels now than we've been and so there might be a, a widening of these, these drawdown curves as we move higher and so we've we've minimized we've worked to minimize that uh, with some filters on the stock index strategies and so we will we'll continue to monitor that let's look at the 25k portfolio it had a big day yesterday trading the cobra 3 in q and it was in about a i think a four or six six thousand dollar drawdown and now it's only in a twenty three hundred dollar drawdown and it is up fifty fifty three hundred on the month thirty three thousand on the year and these this is with the drawdown curve where it was it was down here at this level and then now it's bounced back it's hard to see that um, let me draw draw this in here and so you see it made this level here a few days ago and now it's right there that's where the drawdown is so it went down here and now it's bouncing back so that's how the drawdown curve works let's look at three other portfolios that we have that we talk about you can customize this as well when you download it let's take a look here at the uh, 100k day trade only $9,000 drawdown it is down a thousand on the month after having a nice March uh, but typical to be down at these drawdown levels as you can see a little bit jumpy here um, so you see the drawdown levels it's been here before and so it's a good entry point good place to add contracts if you're well capitalized and so you can buffer some of the initial capital required when you get in on a drawdown as well the uh, account size required is maximum margin for all strategies to take a net position which never happens plus the maximum drawdown in this case you could take ten thousand dollars off of that you could take the margin requirement pretty much cut it in half so it'd be 120 and these are trade station margins and so you can, other brokers have smaller margins so it'd be even less than that so it'd be 120 uh, plus 10,000 130 we could trade this with a $130,000 account. And so that is the uh, 100K 
2020 day trade only. Let's look at let's look at the um, liquid day trade portfolio 2020 slightly different. It's in $11,000 drawdown, about halfway to its worst case drawdown, and minus 2,500. Same thing on the capital requirement. Let's look at the drawdown curve. We look at the drawdown curve. So it took a fast drawdown. I prefer fast drawdowns like these, and then quick rebounds. And the SR Counter Trend portfolio trades all SR Counter Trend two, three, and four results as of yesterday. Let's go down and look at that uh, right here. And so these are the updated results, $3,000 drawdown. It just doesn't trade as much as the other strategies, 16, 15. It had quite a few trades today. Uh, these are on April the 22nd. These are the results from yesterday. So this is the updated portfolio calculator. You can download it from the portfolio calculator page on the website, capstonetradingsystems.com. I'll show you where you can get that. Go to the website, market portfolios, and you can click on portfolio calculator. And download it here, updated through April the 21st.